All right, and we are back to finish off this week's episode of Champagne Poppy. He's almost fucked that up there. But and not only are we back, who else is back, Marco? <clears throat> the man who is currently on a three-game win streak in the Dirty Dozen Football League, El Nino Gilbert Hernandez. Hey! He's up here somewhere, right? What's up, baby? What's good, you fam? Shit, how you been? How you, ooh, you looking good in that beer, boy. Wait, hey, wait. man, just cooling, man, living oh, large. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot the camera was there, shit. Well, the reason why Gibby isn't in his normal ling, uh, ring light room is because he is a very busy man, and he just got done with his other show. Gibby, you got 20 seconds, plug your other show, tell the people to listen to it. Hey, man, go follow me. Add Gibby Kid. Uh, Give the kid and, in the description. and my show, Hike and Swish, on IG, Hike Swish. Uh, we talk about sports and all that goody shit. Right, yeah, so he essentially does what we do here, but with his uh, buddies from the Illinois Media School. Yeah. So uh, I was trying to tune into that while we were filming earlier, but I think I caught you after it was over, so a little too late. But this is earlier than we normally record, which is why he's still on the road and not back in his um, in his domicile. Yeah, in his that's a that's an yeah. interesting way to put that. Hey man, I come up with a lot of words, but as always, nothing's changed about what we're gonna do here. We're gonna talk about football. We're going to say every game, and we're going to break down who's done the best. And so far this season, Marco is still in the lead. He has hit the 80 correct guesses right, Mark. He went 7-7 seven and seven last week, me and you tied. Yep. Gibby, where's it at? Where's my ball? Go get the ball. Oh, I forgot the ball. I told this guy we're going to use the ball, and then he goes and puts the ball back. Gibby gets the good job ball this week. Look at that, Gib. Nice job. It's the good job ball because he got the big dub going 8-6. and six. He has taken over second place from me. He's 77 and 42. I'm 76 and 43. Percentages 63 and 9 for me in third place, 64.7 for Gibby, and 67.2 for Marco. So we're still at two, roughly two thirds ish. Yeah, so we, we're starting to come down a little bit. We cooled off from our hot seat, but we have, I mean, Football these last two weeks is fucking shit. Like, like yeah, the last three weeks we've had like a combined percentage of like fifty percent. I mean, didn't let like this past weekend didn't like all the first five games that was loud. Like the fucking the five underdogs won. Yeah, there was a lot of underdog wins this week. If anybody picked Jacksonville over Buffalo, please go watch them instead of us because they must have had something that we didn't. They were on crack. Speaking of surprising wins here, we're going to start with Thursday Night Football. And it would be a surprising win if Brian Flores and the Miami Dolphins are able to take down Lamar and the Baltimore Ravens, but are either of you going with the Dolphins? I am not. Okay. I am also Big not. Big trust, woo-woo. Big trust, woo-woo, and we're going with a unanimous pick on Thursday Night Football. Baltimore to win that one. We go into Sunday at noon. Gibby, your guys, the Dallas Cowboys, playing host to the Atlanta Falcons with a surprising win over the New Orleans Saints. Full, full PF. Man, oh man, I got the boys, but last week, sour taste in my mouth, disgusting, hated every second of it. Yeah. They played surprisingly terrible having Dak back. Mm -hmm. A fake team in Denver played surprisingly well, but does Atlanta do the same to Dallas that Denver did, or no. does Dallas bounce back? Nope, Dallas, I needed gonna, your answer. Dallas is gonna get that dub. Um, I think. Yeah, they should honestly just fucking destroy Atlanta. So far, we have B A L and D A L. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say, Tom? Bounce back season. Bounce back season, and speaking of bouncing back, That's New season. Orleans is gonna try to bounce back, but they got probably the toughest opponent to face right now, the Tennessee Titans. Shit, I don't know about you, Gabe, but I'm gonna ride with them boys in Tennessee. I'm gonna ride with the Titans. I don't trust whoever their quarterback is. I don't know who their quarterback is. Who is it? New Orleans? Trevor yeah. Simeon. Yeah. yeah, Trevor Simeon. Unless Taysom Hill's back. Trevor Simeon. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Titans. They they beat my my the one of my my lock of the week last week. They beat them. They did. Yeah. They did. They were, in fact, not a lock. Marco, are you a Titan? Because you're the only 10 I see. So, um, huh? yes, I'm going with the Titans. I got the Titans defense in fantasy this week. I think they're on a fucking roll. Um, speaking of being on a roll, Jacksonville, they got two wins now. Watch out for them. They're yeah. playing the Colts. Are they playoff bound? Hell no. College football playoff, maybe. Sure, maybe. Put in Cincinnati. Ah. Put in Cincinnati, right? Yeah. So, Jacksonville oh. versus the Colts. 
Gib, who you got? It's was, in Indy. I'm going to go with the Colts. They're yeah. Indiana boys. I was going to go with Indy regardless. I think that team, they got two young players in Michael Pittman and Jonathan Taylor, who I am huge fucking fans of. And they are the second and third best player on that team because the best player is Darius Leonard. Yeah, Darius Leonard is a fucking dog. That's my guy. Yeah, he's a dog. I fuck with him. Yeah, I'm going with Indy as well. We are currently at four unanimous picks. This is probably going to be five. We got the last place in the AFC East New York Jets taking on the second place Buffalo Bills. Well, I mean, look. I think the Bills are going to take an up. No, I'm joking. The Bills are going to win. I was only saying that because they fucking lost to Jacksonville. How the fuck does that happen? Hey. Um. If Jacksonville can beat him, so can the Jets. What's up? Disgusting loss. Six to nine. It was a hot score, but I'm going to go with the Bills. 69. So we're going to Unmanis Bills pick here. Mm -hmm. Um, Six to nine was as great of a score as you can really get, other than 69 to 69 or like 69 to 420. The Urban Liar. Urban Liar. Urban Liar. Speaking of liars. Nope, that's later. My bad. I, I misread that. I thought that said GB. It's TV. We're going to go with two teams coming off their bye week. Tampa Bay, Washington football team. Man, nah, I'm going to go with the GOAT. I'm going to go with Mr. Seven Rings. If these two fucks go with Tom Brady, you bet your ass I'm going with Tom Brady. We're Tom all Brady. locking into the same picks, and I would assume this happens as well. But it's about that time of year, Marco. We're getting close to when De uh, Detroit finally needs one. So we got Detroit doing what the Bears did and going into Heinz Field against Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think they're going to suffer the fucking same fate as the Bears. I think they're going to take an oh, I think Pitt comes out on top. Means? I think ball don't lie, though. Oh, ball Ooh. don't lie. Therefore, nah, I got the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hit him with that Carmelo about a up. Uh, just... I so badly. Yeah, but, but like I said, hey, I wouldn't be mad if they won. So no, I'm God, gonna... no. I so badly want to pick the Lions for a couple reasons. Um, like they haven't won. I picked them before, and they got smacked when it happened. Oh, yeah, that's why. Um, that left a sour taste. I also mind. want it because Pittsburgh luckily got that win against the Bears. That was completely rough. But yeah, it's in rest. Pittsburgh again. Fuck so why rest. would I assume it would go any different against a worse team? I'm riding with Los Steelers, and that takes us to the 12 o'clock game of the week that I select. I handpick every week. I don't listen to the fucking media. We got the surprisingly good after OBJ Cleveland Browns, who just beat Cincinnati, versus the first place in the AFC East, New England Patriots. New England Patriots are in first place in the AFC East? That's right. I did not know that. That's Gabe, right. Gabe, did you know that? I did not know that. That, that is know crazy. Mac Jones, and that's it. Mac Jones, Jacoby Myers, Damian Harris, and the guys. Mac, Mac Jones is the logo. Yeah. He is the Patriots. He is the Patriots. He's like yeah. the prototypical Patriots. So I have a question. I got... Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My question was going to be, who do you guys got? Give dude it all. Man, oh man. I'm going to go... Uh, see, this one, this one, this one's tough for me. I didn't even expect the Browns to go like that last week. Uh, but I think they're going to stay on that rule and they're going to win. Wow. I think the fact that Nick Chubb is out. He is? Yeah, Nick Chubb's out. Yeah? Yeah, he's out. Oh, I didn't know that. Dernus Johnson is Kareem playing. Hunt. Yeah, Kareem Hunt's out. I would be yeah, damned if the Patriots lose. And that other back off, so it's just De uh, Dearness Johnson? Yeah, it's just De Dearness Johnson. So he should have a fucking huge week in fantasy. But. So you're going with New England? I'm also going to ride with my guys. It's in, it's in Gillette. It's mm -hmm. the team that I, um, as soon as I saw them play Tampa Bay, I wanted to pick them against the Chargers too, and I didn't because I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. They're a lot better than people want to give them credit for. They were a lot better of a roster than people want to give credit for. We were missing a lot of guys with COVID last year in terms of yeah. people who opted out. I'm riding with my Patriots, and I'm not going to go as far as to say they'll win the division, but they're fucking fighting for a playoff spot, and I think they'll get one. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think they're one of those few sneaky teams that have surprised a lot of people. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, Buffalo comes back and wins. Yeah, I agree. All right, well, this takes us to the 3 o'clock games. We start off with a shitty one, in my opinion. Carolina versus Arizona. Kyler Murray slated to come back. Easy, AZ. Carolina. Yeah, 
Okay, I'm gonna go AZ as well. Yes. All right, so we only we only had one against the grain, which was Cleveland in the first window. So we're gonna see if potential. This one has the potential of giving one. Minnesota. 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 <laughs> I love when Gibby does that. Versus the Chargers of Los Angeles. Hmm. Who had an ugly win against the Eagles. Hmm. Let me go last. I need to You got a team that barely lost to Lamar and the Ravens versus a team who barely beat the Philadelphia Eagles. It's the Chargers against who again, my bad? The Vikings. Minnesota! Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm not sure. Dalvin yes. Cook is playing. That's I think his incident is absurd. Yeah. That's total bullshit. We're I'm talking about that when we learn more. Uh, I yeah, I was gonna say I don't know too much about that situation yet. If you come to my house, it's a problem, but that I don't know. I gotta look into it, I guess. So but I think I'm gonna go yeah, okay. uh, uh, damn wait. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Chargers. I'm gonna go with LA. Yeah, I'm gonna go with LA too. So I, part of me was like, hey, you know what? Minnesota's bound to get a win here and there against a good team. I'm playing Dalvin Cook, and I have Austin Eckler. I'm not putting that against Let's myself. Let's fucking go. Yeah, you can't manifest that shit. No. So this one's going to be ugly, and what? someone might go against the grain simply because I don't know who's going to win it. But guess what we're going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to come back after the break to talk about these last four games. We'll be back after this commercial break. <laughs> Wasn't that just the funniest commercial, Marco? Back to what we were talking about. Enjoyable. We're going to make a commercial all these days and throw in there. A Viagra commercial. But, that's right. So, <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a game that I'm looking at, mm. and I have no clue how to pick. We got the Philadelphia Eagles. We got the Denver Broncos. Big thing to note right now. It's in Mile High Stadium. Okay. I'm going last? I'm okay. going first. Okay, go first. I'm going to go with my boy. Played his ass off last week. Mr. Devontae Smith and the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly, baby. Let's go. Yeah, so I mean, I think we've been saying it all year long. I think Denver's a fake good team. They just whooped the Cowboys. I don't see him doing that against the Eagles. Though. Like, I just have a feeling the Eagles are going to win. I'm going with the Eagles. I'm going with the fly, Eagles okay. fly. Okay. Do it, Joe. Do it, Joe. It's a business it, decision. It. it is a business decision. Marco, do it, do what's it, the it, colors it, of the it. University of Illinois? Wow. Orange and blue. You know who else is orange and fucking blue? Eh, they're like orange. Petty B and the fucking Denver Broncos! It's not really like the same orange and blue, though. I hate you. It's like a different blue. I'm going against the fucking grain. This is a business decision because I'm in last fucking place. We're going Denver Broncos, ladies and gents. Okay. But that's not the end of the week. It's far from it. It's not even the best 3 o'clock game. You got Russell Wilson returning from injury and the Seattle Seahawks going to Lambeau Field and hopefully getting the return of Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, and the Green Bay Packers. Who are you guys going with? So, let me go first, and can I make a conditional pick? What the fuck does that mean? I'm just, if fucking, Aaron I'm just plays, fucking asking. Well, because, look, if Aaron no, Rodgers plays... It's Wednesday, and you have to make a decision. Then fucking go, Pat, go, baby. I haven't made, I haven't picked against the fucking Packers all year, and we're not going to fucking start now. Go, Pat, go, baby. We're getting the dub in Lambeau Field. Jordan Love is trash. Yeah, we wasted a fucking first-round pick on a trash can. Well, Jordan Love is trash. Justin Fields is the best quarterback of the future for the NFC North. Jared Goff is booty cheeks, and Kirk Cousins is... I, he's just the streakiest player I've ever seen. I like the return of Seattle's Russell Wilson. I really do. I also like the concept of them not having a strong season and getting a big win, but I also like the home field advantage of Lambeau Field. I also like the return factor for Aaron Rodgers more than hurt finger Russell Wilson. So, fuck. I'm not going to say go. I can't even pronounce it. I can't enunciate that. But I'm going to say Green Bay is going to win this week. I just said. That's cute. All right, then. Who are you going with? I feel like I know. See, you guys need to get OBJ. But 
this, I said this in my show. It's like I'm putting this pick on hold, but I gotta pick someone now because if Aaron Rodgers is playing, I'm down for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, see. We don't make conditional picks. I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't make yeah, conditional picks. So fuck it. I'm going to the Bay. Fuck it. I'm down. The and you Bay? Yeah. yeah, I'll go Green Bay. And you know what? Go go back, go when go. this game happens on Sunday, Aaron Rodgers and Odell Beckham Jr. will be suiting up in fucking green and yellow. Cap. Yeah, no, no cap. cap. It's too late in the week. Too, no cap. He just said he's going to take his time on his decision. He better hurry the fuck up. He's going to make his decision. I guarantee soon. you OBJ he's doesn't. Make his decision I guarantee soon. you OBJ. By Sunday, Odo Beckham is going to be in Michigan. Wisconsin, OB- Wisconsin, 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 Wisconsin. OBG. OBJ is not going to sign to a team for the next two weeks. OBG. He's not going to play. How about this? He's not going to play for the next three weeks. No, 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 no. He's going to be suited up on fucking Sunday ready to go. Next week, next Sunday he's playing. He's going to be lined up against fucking Devontae Adams or we're going to fuck off the Seahawks. He's going to sign to a team that has like a week 12 bye and go there. And then Packers play their team by. That's one, but he's not going to play until after that bye. I'm saying it right now. Wherever he goes, I'm getting a jersey no matter what color it is. So okay. you're going to pack a jersey? See, I don't think that's going to happen. I think it is very possible. I want it to happen. Fantasy well, it's his number one option, too. Well, his top three options are Green Bay, New Orleans, and Sunday Night Football's matchup, because I want to get us back on yeah. fucking track. Okay. We got, I, I'm going to read this correctly, and Gibby knows what I mean by this, I hope. We got the Kansas City Chiefs. They're going to go to Las Vegas to play. <laughs> So are we going with the very much struggling Chiefs, or are we going with the first place in the AFC West, Las Vegas Raiders? Do you want Do you want to go first, or you want me to go first, Give? I'll go first because I need to say something. All right, get it off your chest. Get it off your Uh, chest. Specifically to towards Joe. Joe, if OBJ goes to Kansas City, you know it's a wrap for the game. You know. Yeah, that's true. The game we're gonna go. It's gonna be nice, but uh, I think Mahomes, you know, he played okay, he played better, I guess. So I think they're gonna they're gonna get a dub. Um, yeah, and, and Travis Kelsey's gonna score another tutty, so I'm gonna go with the Chiefs. Chiefs kingdom, baby. I think. Oh, I really thought. I am. Don't do it. Gonna go with the fucking Raiders. I like I love Josh Jacobs, love Derek Carr. Um, I think that team is gonna get a dub against the fucking Chiefs because they fucking suck. The Chiefs suck. The only reason they beat the fucking the only reason they beat the Packers is because we got fucking I don't even want to say his name at fucking QB, but you love him. Get no, it? I don't. Get it? I don't. Get it? I don't. Get it? Get it? Get it? Because his name is Love. Uh, he's the he's the second worst love last name. Yeah. Or the the worst, the worst, the worst, the worst. My bad, the worst. Yeah, I was gonna say you, you're fucking you're fucking that shit up. <laughs> Shout out Julian. Yeah. Shout out J Love. Sorry, I'm drunk. Oh wait, they're both J Love. Pick Rob Holmes. Pick Rob Holmes, baby. He did. He did. One picked him off. One lost. Yep. So. Yeah. Fuck it. Speaking of losing, this team lost on Sunday night last week. They get another chance on Monday night this week. It's the Rams. <laughs> And they're flying just north to San Francisco. Wait, who did you pick? Kansas City. Oh. You're going against the grain. You're dumb for picking Las Vegas. No, I'm picking Las Vegas. Listen. This kid's dumb. This kid's dumb. Listen. Vegas. I'm picking Vegas. I'm Andy Reid. It's Patrick Mahomes. Eventually, they'll figure their shit out, and it has to be now or never. Well, they're winning the fucking division. It doesn't look like they've been able to fucking figure it out much yet. It's listen, baby. Not listen, gonna it's November. Not gonna have against Mahomes Raiders. isn't shaving or nutting hey, anymore. Hey, hey, it's a marathon, not a race, Chica. Suave. That's right. But I still gotta win the race. I still gotta win the race. All right, fuck it. We're back to what I was talking about. Don't interrupt me like that ever again. The Los Angeles Rams, the San Francisco 49ers. <clears throat> I'm gonna go last. Well, I'm gonna go first. And I'm going to go Rams. That's all I got to fucking say. And the Rams are going to ram the 49ers. Okay, 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 it's easy. okay. It's for like that. Viewers, LA teams. For all the viewers and all the locks, I don't have my helmet. I'm on road right now. But I'm going to go and, and choose them back-to-back 
lock of the week. They're going to make up for last week. I'm going to go with the Rams, and they're my lock of the week. I got the hat on. I guess that counts. I don't got the fucking helmet. I'm not going to wear a helmet. I don't keep I like my helmet on me. I like so that. I'm going to go with the Rams. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you kept the helmet on you at all times. Just strap up the helmet. That is right. I'm down. Maybe next time I'll be more, uh, you know, prepared. My bad. All right. So that is your lock. My lock, lock of the, of the week. week. <laughs> Because, Gibby, what we're going to do is because I, I wrote this nice, neat page, and it has space for all three of us, you have the lock of the week pick, but me and Marco are also going to pick our secondary locks, just as, like, our own opinion. You get the big moment, though, so you, we need the helmet back next week. Okay. I'm going to go with New England over Ooh, Cleveland. I got the hat right now, but this is the helmet. Hey, it's good enough. It is good enough. For my lock of the week, I'm going New England over Cleveland. I think Cleveland has a chance of surprising a lot of teams, but I think they wasted that on Cincinnati's win. Yeah. I'm going to go with New England. I think they are a team that knows how to win better than a lot of other teams. You want to look yeah. at your... Um, so I was looking at it a little bit. I think for me, the lock is the Chargers. I think the Chargers are going to fucking just easily go into fucking... Well, they're playing They're playing in Minnesota. Minnesota. Right? Yeah. So I think they're going to go in there and get the job done and just fuck them up. Right. So for people who are confused why we're not picking like teams like Buffalo against the Jets or something like that is we always want to make sure that it's somewhat of a close game, but we're making it our lock. So... Gibby and him are both going with unanimous picks. I'm going with one that Gibby went against the grain, but it's a pick that... It's a game where you can kind of pick either side and be fair. He's a good judge. like these baseballs. That's right. So, a couple things to note. Like I said, Gibby's in second. I'm in third. Marco's in first. Gibby went with Cleveland for his against the grain. You went with Raiders. And I went with the Broncos. Those are our against the grains. Those are the ones to keep your eye out for. New England, Chargers, and Rams are the locks of the week. Those are the ones that, if you asked us, you can go put your money on. Yes, sir. So, that is going to wrap it up for this week of the NFL Pick'em. As always, I want to thank my brother from back home, Gibby, for joining us on the show today. Uh, yeah. Hey, I'm going to be back home. I'm going to be back home this weekend. What's up? Hey, man, you know where to find me. You know where the location is. Same city, same friends if you're looking for me. You know? Ooh, I know exactly where you're going to be at, He baby. thinks he's Drake, and he looks like Drake. He does look like Drake. He looks like Fred Van Fleet. All right, so yeah, that's the end of our segment. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we'll be back in seven days on your screen. Uh, make sure you subscribe not only to us, but to all the pages that we have in our bio, yes, which is our individual and Gibby's other podcast that he does. And uh, as always, we shall see you guys in the next one. Number five.